We hired a bunch of singers and songwriters to write and sing a melody. And by we, you mean you, because I didn't spend a single dollar. <laughs> All of them got the same lyrics and the same beat. The only difference will be their melodies and their singing. And Jonas, you should definitely watch this video until the end, because in the end, there will be my version of the same thing all of these singers will do. Ooh, you don't want to miss that. No, you do not. It will be the worst. Okay, so just so you guys know what these singers and songwriters are up against, here's the beat. And that's where the drop would come. But there's no drop in this because that would be too much work. So <laughs> we're just stopping there. And the lyrics. Ah, the lyrics. Are you implying that the lyrics will be bad? No, they're amazing. <laughs> they're so good. You can read. You think you're better than me. It's all over your face. You say what you want to say. You're always on my case. Oh, dope rhyme, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. But I'm so over. Oh, oh, over this. Oh, oh, over this. Yeah. And last October, it just was a kiss. It just, it was, it was just a kiss. It was just a kiss. You can't read, dude. Excellent lyrics. Do you have any idea what this is about? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. So, <laughs> write in the comments Tell what us. you think it was about. So Jonas, what are your expectations on these Fiverr people? What do you think the songs will be like? I know that if I did it, I would try and just get as much value for those money as possible. So I would just come up with one melody and whatever that was, the first one, I would just stick with. Okay. So I think we'll be seeing some decent melodies, maybe. Uh -huh. But I think it's fair to say that all of them could have been better if you paid more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I paid more, okay. Because this was honestly some of the most expensive stuff I've ever done on Fiverr. Not a single one of the people I hired for this was under $100. Ooh. These better be hits. <laughs> Let's head over to the first guy. This guy has like a smooth R&B type voice. It's a bit like Jason Derulo, something like that. I'm not sure if we can play the music, but we can see him dancing and singing maybe. They probably couldn't hear any of that, but he was a good singer. I really like his voice. Let's look at his reviews. Extremely impressed with both the communication and final product we got from V-Suit 810. That's his name. V-Suit 810. Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Does <laughs> yeah. it? Super prompt responses, and we love the jingle he provided to us. Beautiful voice. We'll definitely use again. Thank you! <laughs> love when people have caps. <laughs> nice vowels and crisp consonants. <laughs> Weirdo. As a producer, a, a crisp consonant sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Oh, he looks cool. Let's write down our thoughts and then talk about it. Yeah. This is exciting. What if we have the <laughs> okay. same notes? What's your thoughts? The first initial thought that hit me immediately mm -hmm. was, to be honest, a little bit disappointed that it wasn't tuned or produced, yeah, yeah. the recording. I guess I didn't technically pay for that, but mm -hmm. I get what you mean. It would have shown off the melody more if the vocals sat better in the track for sure. Yeah. The melody I thought was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. I liked it. And my favorite part was probably in the very end when he made a hook of it, a repetition, and he like, yeah. it was just a kiss. I thought there were some good ideas in the second half. One of the parts I really liked was, Over these, yeah. I don't know, you just follow the chords pretty nicely there. Yeah. I felt like it was low energy. It kind of feels like he's holding back a lot, which I'm not too crazy about. Sometimes I think the contrast of something super soft and mellow to something hard is cool, but mm -hmm. for that to work, then you really need like really compressed sound yeah. and all of that stuff. Overall, great. Well, not great, maybe, but <laughs> very good. <laughs> I really well, like his voice, though. Yeah, his I, voice is amazing. Next up, we have Superstar Patience. I don't think, sadly, we ever got a video from Superstar Patience. 
Yeah, here she is. She's got some Beyonce slash Rihanna vibes, but like a younger version. She's got a very young voice. I really like it. That's what she looks like. I think there's only one picture of her. Or all of them are different, but she's one of those girls that have found the perfect Oh, uh, she, <laughs> she found the angle, yeah. <laughs> this is my pose. She does not only have five star reviews, so let's see what's up with that. Mm. Who was angry? Thank you, patience. <laughs> Great job, got more options than I asked. Ooh, mm. very talented musician. It was an absolute pleasure working with this young, talented singer. She was super professional and exceeded all my expectations. I wanna see the angry guy. Oh, Swedish sweet. person. <laughs> the songs she had uploaded as example tracks on her page were good. I asked her to do vocals for a dancehall R&B track and the vocals were off key and didn't fit the song's ambience very well. She was one day late on delivery and it wasn't very good delivery at first. Neither was second try. Swedish dude, you gotta chill. Let's just listen. Okay, so we've written our notes. What do you think? I really, really like her like voice and mm -hmm. her attitude when she sings. Yeah. I would love to hear her like recorded and produced by some like really good people to maximize what she could be. Yeah. Her pronunciation is just so on point, I think. And just like tone and everything. I really, really love her voice. I start thinking immediately in my head, like how could I incorporate her in some other video? Or, like actually have her sing something where I have a little bit more of the creative control. The melodies are nice. But it's a bit chaotic and it's a bit weird with the lyrics. First off, she added like ad libs in the beginning. So yeah. then she like threw away four bars or like two bars or whatever in the beginning. It's so obvious that she kind of like squeezed in last October there, right? Oh, oh, and same here, she didn't even say, you say what you want to say, you say you want to say, you always, um, okay, she did. People do drop words and stuff, especially with that kind of pronunciation, like the urban thing. I've never seen anyone drop words that way. Yeah, because the meaning then, it's not the same. You say you want to say, what does that even yeah. mean? I like the melodies, but it feels like she wants to repeat something in last October or whatever at the end, uh -huh. but instead she just does like a, yeah. You don't feel like you land, you don't yeah. get home in the end. It started out really well, and then it just kind of fell apart a little bit, I think. But as we start, she's a really good singer, guys. If there's musicians out there who are looking for singers, definitely, you know, look her up. By the way, have you heard of Team Trees yet? A massive amount of YouTubers are all coming together to help plant 20 million trees by 2020. All to help combat climate change. Every dollar donated means one tree is planted, so every little bit helps! You can click the donate button under this video if you're on mobile or if you're on desktop, I think it's here on the side. You can also donate on teamtrees.org. If you want to know more details, there's a link in the description to a frequently asked questions document. Thanks for donating and making a difference and now let's get on with the video. We got Amanda Power and she's interesting because she's a bit more on the rock slash metal side of things. I want to play one of her songs, hopefully it doesn't get claimed or anything. Yeah, so that's kind of like her thing. Very different from the other singers we've had yeah. so far. I'm excited to take her into a pop context and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear this. She has 5.0 stars from 10 reviews. Let's see what people are saying. Great communication and commitment to an awesome result. Amanda breathed life back into a 30-year-old track. <laughs> I thought it was gonna say breathe life back into a 30-year-old man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She has a red voice. Totes red voice and really fast. Oh, Dang. oh it's the same it's guy. The same guy. <laughs> oh, three times ah. <laughs> let's have a listen to amanda's Ooh, i think she actually texted me and said she had done some video editing Dude. so i'm excited yeah Ooh. Ok, 
Okay, let's write down some stuff. I really appreciate the effort on the video there. Yeah. I'm, uh, she definitely went the extra mile with that. I'll start this time. So I got massive 80s vibes from this. Yes. Really? It was so much reverb that like, I didn't know if the vocal was coming from the middle or like from the sides. Yeah, it's just everywhere. Yeah. In a really nice way. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. it was. Something I felt about the melodies was that it was very much on the same like registry a lot. It was on the fifth note pretty much all the time. I would have liked a little bit more variation just to spice it up. I like the melodies. This mm -hmm. would be a nice album track because I feel like it didn't have a clear hook that you remember, but it's just an emotional thing that keeps growing on you for every time you listen to mm. it. That's not necessarily bad. It's just not a single for me. It's like yeah. one of those tracks that you end up liking a lot after five years, like five <laughs> years later. <laughs> it's five years later. <laughs> no, like but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah, I when you, you go back to the album, you're like, you know what? I really like this track. Let's do the next one. Okay, so this is our guy, Music Chef. I like, it's got like photos from different angles here in front of this brown curtain, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Uh, oh, glasses on for this one, yeah. Okay. Multi-faceted guy. Oh, he's kind of like sitting down a little bit. Ooh, he can bend his knees. He's done a lot of work on Fiverr, 135 reviews. Oh. I want to start with the bad ones. Let's see. I am a professional singer and songwriter. After hearing my finished product, I would be very surprised if this is the same singer that is portrayed in the samples. Totally different voice and accent. Very disappointed. It's so annoying when people start off with like, I'm a professional singer. Oh, yeah. it's like, you should listen to what I have to say. Okay, so he replied, I wish I could send the demo you sent me and the final unmixed job that I delivered to you. Then you would explain what you meant by this review. This is so shocking. Oh my God, he seems upset. Oh. oh. I mean, he's got 120 good ones. Yeah. And we know that. So let's keep looking at the bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> he scammed me. <laughs> Don't work with this guy. He just sended me a link that connected to nothing. I couldn't find that page. <laughs> when I wrote him, nothing came back. He's a very bad seller. No, he's a good seller. <laughs> <laughs> because he sold you nothing. He sold you nothing for $140. <laughs> That's a win in my book. Yeah. Uh, and he responded, just a misunderstanding and it's sorted out now and buyer wishes to modify the review, but the account is blocked. <laughs> His work was inspired and outstanding. His lyrics were courageous and pregnant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy likes thesauruses. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a listen to his thing. I'm so excited. I want my heart tickled. Me too. I want my heart tickled hard. You think you are better than me. It's all over your face. You say what you want to say. And you always on my case. But I'm so old. Just a kiss, it was just a kiss. Yeah. I really like the melodies. I like the verse more than the pre-chorus slash chorus, whatever uh -huh. you call it. My one thing though was that I felt like the last and you always on my case line. And you always on my case. Could have been switched up a little bit rhythmically because it's very kind of samey energy wise. And it mm -hmm. could have been cool if it was just like a little bit snappy in the end to round it off. Yeah. I want to listen to it with the lyrics because I think that the emphasis fell weirdly. Like you wouldn't say it with the emphasis on certain words. Mm. I think it's I'm better than me. You think you are better than me. He's splitting up the sentence into two. It's like I would talk to you and be like, you think you are better than me. Mm. I think a little bit of a rhythmic change to make it just glue together more as one sentence, right? I think I disagree, but only because I didn't think too much of the lyrics. I agree with you for these lyrics now that you explained it, but mm -hmm. I really like that pause in the rhythm, but I am also a sucker for like unexpected pauses. I also think you don't really listen to lyrics. No. I'm... I don't think I would be able to get you to recite these lyrics now. You Continue. think you are better than me, but now it's over. Ah! <laughs> Wrong immediately. I really liked a lot of the ideas. I would really vibe with these melodies if I was going to write new lyrics now. That these mm. are just like throwaway lyrics that I'm going to write new. Then I could probably make something really good with this. But when it's like, oh, I want these lyrics on this beat, then I don't think these melodies work. Yeah. That's how I felt about it. Yeah. We both know a little bit of producing and mixing and stuff. And I just like his voice and I would just love to hear it with like more of how I would have done it. Yeah. How I would have treated the vocals. Overall, really good job, I think. Delivered really well on, you know, video. He did a bunch of back vocals, he did, you know, tuning and mixing. As far as Extra Mile go, I think him and Amanda Power really like went just like, Arr. for sure. What did you guys prefer the most out of these singers and songwriters? Did you like V Sweet 8 tenths version? Still rolls up the tongue. Did you like Superstar Patience's version? 
Amanda Powers version or Music Chef's version. You think you are than me. Since there are only four, we can probably make a voting card. Yeah. Let's do that. And also let us know in the comments why you think what you did. Is it time? It's time. Is it's it time. time? I'm going to play my version. It so, will yeah. be interesting to see how my critique reflects back on my payroll afterward. <laughs> 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 so quiet. <laughs> now, I, now I'm so nervous. I think that it was really interesting hearing this after you shared the way you were thinking about the lyrics when they didn't like divide them in the way that you would have done it. The way you made the melodies with these lyrics, it was very clearly separated the different lines and mm -hmm. it became very easy to digest the meaning of the song. Mm -hmm. And I think for someone like me that doesn't think that much about lyrics, I immediately got the song way more lyric wise than I did from any of the other ones. Interesting. Something I like <laughs> listening back to this. Uh, and I think one or two of the other people did this as well, but it's like, you got this distorted riff in the verse, just kind of like not singing on top of that, waiting, mm. I think really works with this beat. So like... You think you're better than me. It's all about your face. This becomes like a call and response thing with that distorted thing. And sometimes when people are singing on top of that in the verse, it kind of bothered me because there was too much going on. Yeah, you're definitely paying some attention to try and complement the track rather than just finding something that works on top of it. -ish. I only have like one actual negative thing. Woo! Let's do it. Um, and that thing was, I really like the dynamic shift between the verse and the chorus or pre-chorus, whatever you want to call it. Like mm -hmm. you, you have two different distinct feelings and I like the melody leading into it, but there was just something about your delivery and the way you said the words in the transition that sounded like a little bit like an aggressive barking dog. <laughs> just like a little bit like, hey, dog, 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 dog. <laughs> You always on my case by time. It was just something about the delivery that just seemed a little bit like, what's the word? I don't know, spassy to me. <laughs> <laughs> so something I would probably critique myself for with this a little bit is the structure of the melody. Because I realized listening back to it now, there's like one phrase, another phrase, and then repeat. And then one phrase, another phrase, and then repeat. And it's a little bit boring as far as structure goes. This is very like It's all the time just kind of like two phrases lumped together and repeated. My last feedback is just whoever sang this sounds really handsome. Must be a really dreamy guy. I can just hear how much like money this guy has to spend on people that work for him. If you were to choose a favorite out of not me, but the other ones. Out of the other ones, I would probably put the 80s vibe song first, mm -hmm. that girl. Then it's a close tie between the last guy and the young, like, urban girl. I think for me, actually, young urban girl has to take it. I mean, we're doing songwriting here, but it was also about voice. And her voice made me really excited. Mm -hmm. And a lot of her phrases and stuff, I really, really liked. Just a little bit of, like, studio magic, whatever, on it, and it would sound amazing. I did like the 80s girl, too. I think she's kind of, like, you know, in second place, maybe together with the last one for me, but I think the girl who didn't send a video, she became my favorite anyway. Weird. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all and uh, we'll catch you in the next one or I will. I don't know if Jonas will be here. We'll Maybe see. not. We'll I don't know. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh. A huge thanks to my top patrons, Matthew Barzik, Kian Wong, Vicky is not Russian, Ali Engdahl, Batoon, Nina Fairbag, Oh My Luca, Elizabeth, and Hardly Quinn. Thank you so much.